Manchester United would be very smart to re-sign David De Gea, as questions remain over Andre Anana, Dwight York has said. Former Red Devils striker York was one of the players brought in by Eric Ten Hag and company. Inter held off on signing Cameroonian Anana before agreeing to a £48 million, $61 million deal. He arrived in England and United were told to expect mistakes, which he did in the early part of his time at Old Trafford. Spanish goalkeeper De Gea, who made United history by keeping four clean sheets and winning four Player of the Year awards in 12 years, remains available after being released from the free agent pool. The 33-year-old has been linked with Saudi Arabia and MLS sides, but is yet to make a decision on his future. Asked about the possibility of United announcing who's back following Anana's absence from the Africa Cup of Nations, York, who works with Footy Accumulator said. I think it would be good to re-sign David De Gea. Good things, smart move, but it is unlikely to happen, because the leader who sent him would have rubbed salt in the wound. My question is, what's the point of having a second man at the club? They did it with Dean Henderson, and there's a reason the club finished second. We have to make these people believe in them. They train every day and try to be a first-team choice goalkeeper, so I don't know why they let Dean Henderson go. These kids need a chance at life and it's up to me to say it on the surface, but you won't know until you put it into action. What do you do if you get injured during a game? Don't you want to enter as a number two? Their goalkeeper Altai Binder is on the bench and will never get a chance. This is something I don't understand and may not exist. It's ridiculous and I can't handle my manager thinking about it. Turkey international Binder is yet to make his United debut after joining from Fenerbahce in the summer of 2023. But if De Gea is not called up and Anana seeks continental glory with his country in Ivory Coast, his opportunity could present itself.